Hello guys, I'm a teacher in Bokan Sejuga Masame. Let us take a look on question number uh, 60, the exercise 1.2, the topics of vector uh, from the tie 2022. Okay, let us uh, uh, consider the the cars below, the cars A and car B, with respect to point P and point Q. <coughs> now, these two cars separated by a distance 90, 75 meter, and have given the initial velocity for car A and the initial velocity for car B. And then, uh, we've given the time, uh, where where when the car A will take to reach a point Q, and the time uh, when the car B will take to reach a point P. <coughs> now we are asked to find the accelerations for car A and car B from the data as you can see below. As you can see below, then uh, for car A. A equation for, disp for displacement, the second equation is for linear motion, as <coughs> its frame of reference is from point P, where is the zero comma zero, comma zero as the initial frame of reference, as the set of axis uh, coordinates. <coughs> now, uh, sorry, uh, our displacement here it is a right of the initial frame P. Also displacement here is positive and our initial velocity also is positive because it's toward a right toward the positive x axis and then our accelerations is in uh, equal to negative 0 0.280 approximate as this negative means that this uh, cars a a decelerates when it's uh, it's it's moved to point c q and for car b uh, from the equation of displacement as usual but sky b remember that it's moving uh, towards left of a uh, uh, frame of reference q that is zero comma zero now uh, remember that the displacement here is left of this uh, frame of reference hence uh, the displacement will be negative and the initial velocity also is negative and so our uh, our accelerations for car b is equal to approximate to 0 0.3 meter per second square just the left of the point q uh, frame of reference uh, <coughs> uh, okay uh, let us take a look on uh, a part b uh, we ask need to find a time uh, in which two cars will take to to pass each other uh, Before uh, finding the times, we must first uh, find the final velocity for each car. Now, final velocity for car A, as you can see below, we substitute the values by regarding the directions because uh, this final velocity is a vector. Then, for car A, the velocity will be positive uh, as towards the right of point e, of point P, as uh, a frame of reference P. And then uh, for car B. Our final velocity will be equal to negative 29.80 uh, meter per second as towards the left of point uh, Q. This is just to tell, to tell the directions where this car B heading. Yeah. And then when we want to find this uh, time, we must see refer the simple A uh, diagrams below without the cars. Now the point P and point Q is a displacement for both car A, B and car A. Uh, we assume that this car will meet each other at this point where there is a distance X and distance Y from Q and this from P. Then uh, uh, and the time that meet uh, this two cars is the same and this time is time t now for a displacement x is equal to average velocity that is the average times a time a t and for a displacement y is equal to average velocity uh, for car b times time t at this time 
and now when we substitute the expression we have we get the expression as you can see below then we substitute the value uh, the value for for initial velocity and final velocity for respective car a initial velocity and final velocity for respective car b and then we ignore the directions as we know that uh, toward uh, x negative x direction is negative now for the purpose of calculating this time which is scalar quantities then our average all of our average velocity will be a, a positive here and now we take total displacement we substitute each uh, total of displacement as we, we get from here then we make the subject of time t then our final answer is 20.53 seconds the cars to pass each other and we ask to find the speed of car b relative to car a here we consider the velocity now the velocity of car b with respect to car a is equal to average velocity of car b minus average velocity of car a now our a velocity the speed of car b relative to car a when passing each other is equal to 47.49 meter per second as towards the left of the queue and this car b will be towards the left of, of the point q uh, all of this uh, uh, parts of these questions and the whole of these questions its scenarios you can represent these questions in a simple uh, distance uh, velocity and distance uh, velocity time graph now uh, we assume the origin point is the set of axes uh, q and p at this point then we can see the, the motion for car a uh, for car a and this motion for car b uh, this motion for sorry this is the motion for car b because it, it is toward left and this is motion for car A as it is towards right uh, and this is car A car B this is car A sorry I write here B for me that's a mistake this is for this is for A and this is for B very sorry B okay yes as it decelerates and this is accelerated towards the negative side of the uh, coordinates and this is decelerating towards this positive side of the coordinates and the average velocity of b is here average velocity of a is here and the time it will be at a certain point from a certain position at this point t the point is equal times this is this just shapes the times uh, of 42 uh, seconds that's it for b to pass through P and this one take for uh, 40 seconds just for A to pass through Q. Okay, even here it is just Q and here just P. Okay, thank you for watching. Please like, share, don't forget to comment and subscribe for more videos like this one. Okay, thank you.